All right, what's up, guys? I'm Bryce. I'm Rob. And I'm Zaf. And we are real time today. We're back with the series finale of Anne with an E. This is season three, episode 10, The Better Feelings of My Heart. Yeah, obviously, we do know the show was canceled after this. So you guys have let us know that it doesn't end like all happy and doesn't fully wrap up every storyline. So we're going into this knowing that and expecting that. But last episode, I'll start off with Kaquette. Her storyline has just been just so sad this whole season pretty much ever since we met her and she went to this school and her parents found out that she is at this school and like how they're treating her is is insane and horrible they went to go retrieve her and just they were lying about the father not being there and that she can't leave and all this stuff and it was nice seeing Anne and matthew accompanying them but unfortunately matt had to leave because like it was harvest time or something so i think her parents are still out there just like camping out a, few, a little bit away just waiting and, and trying to see what they can do i'm as sad as it is i don't think there's any chance they're just going to be like here you guys go here's here's your daughter they're keeping her and you guys have let us know a bit about the history yeah. of the indigenous people and just what happened so i mean kakwet is literally in like this dark boarded up shed right now and i mean it's so bad and i feel i have a feeling that like Bryce said, the show's ending soon, and this would be such a bad storyline not to wrap up because it's just horrible what's happening. And I know that Anne and Matthew are going to the newspaper about it, or they're trying to get it public. So maybe that is something that really helps, but this is just the government's action. Like, there's really nothing we can do about this. They tried camping out Kikwet's parents, but didn't work uh they have guns and it was just so f gross to see that father come out because the sister was just lying straight to everybody's faces matthew even got in a little scuffle there it was kind of crazy on a much lighter note i feel like with, with the title of this episode the better feelings of my heart i really want this series to end with at least Anne telling gilbert how she feels like Regardless if it ends with him proposing to Winnie and him and Anne not actually ending up together, I at least want her to be able to tell him how she feels because she tried to do it in that letter. He was not able to see it. Just a fiasco, honestly. Just unfortunate turn of events. Letter was never found. She never got to confess. And uh, I just, I, I will be honestly really upset if she, if this like whole show just ends with nothing happening between Anna Gilbert. That'll be pretty, pretty awful if that's how it ends. All right, guys, that's pretty much it though. Before we get into this episode, if you guys have enjoyed all of our Anthony reactions, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, our Discord, our second channel, Atalk, all of our social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But yeah, let's get into it. Season three, episode 10 of Anne with an E, AKA the series finale, the better feelings of my heart. Let's go. Well Oh, I think he said he doesn't. Yeah, dude, look, yeah. she's crying. Just how long have you known that you never intended to marry me? Damn, Damn, Gilbert. I care about you very much. Then not as much. Yeah, as right. Someone? He loves <laughs> Anne. Did she ask Gilbert does not give a fuck about you. Uh, I think he does. I think that's he cares enough to come and come here and tell her the truth. It was never ever my intention to do you harm. The dad's gonna chase Gilbo out with a gun. Mm. God, my mother was so sure. She's set a meeting with the minister. She's engaged a decorator to redo the Paris flat. It's so, so humiliating. <laughs> that, that is humiliating, bro. <laughs> Damn. They're making arrangements. When's happy day? I don't have plans to marry. Now that tops all... This is the most confounding piece of information. What's worse, not wanting to marry her for someone else or not wanting to marry her to just not marry someone? I'm being thrown over for an unrequited no. love. She likes you. She won't even settle for me. <laughs> My God. Honestly, I did not think she would handle it this bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. She's getting absolutely fucked over. A couple cookie coins or cookie points going away or brownie points. Going away for Gilbo for me. Who's mean? <laughs> so many people are expecting our engagement. 
I'm going to book passage overseas so that I'll be far away from Damn, Boston. dude. She's dipping. <laughs> Gilbert made her leave the country? <laughs> he probably thought it was way more serious than he does. I think he thought it was serious until, like, he started having those interactions with Anne. <laughs> I'm sorry, so Miss Stacy. Principal. 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 She is the principal. <laughs> we got a smolder. She's the teacher and the principal. I hold in my hand your queen's. Oh, who's passing? He's not passing. We'll make two groups. I'm proud of how hard everyone has worked. Moody's not in. <laughs> all the losers on this side. All, all the, the smart kids on this side. If there is one person I wouldn't want to pass, it would be Moody. <laughs> Diana got in. Let's go. She didn't even study. Gilbert and Anna are in. Tied for first. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're not just going to stare at them all episode, Anne. She's going over to talk to him. Congratulations. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like he just woke up from fast now. Uh, how did I get here? <laughs> Did he forget everything? <laughs> what? Class dismissed. You've been the best Everybody passed. Hell yeah. Miss Stacy's a good teacher. Dude. Was it Moody who bit into the light bulb? Yeah. He didn't bite it. He, I think he just touched it or something. He licked it. Oh, he licked it, yeah. <laughs> he can't bite glass. He goes, is this a potato? <laughs> no, it wasn't it a chocolate. It tastes like chocolate? Chocolate cake. <laughs> oh, yeah. These marks, I'll make it at the University of Toronto, right? You'd be a very late admission. But if you were to write your doctor, He still wants to be a doctor? Now I have my answer, and I am free. And guess what? We're going to be roommates. Dude, that'd be cool if they had a little call. call. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what just happened over there? It was a fair ball. <laughs> Hello? Oh my gosh, that was oh, crazy. Forget it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't even know if I want to go. I can't get anymore. in this room anymore. I think I just started stuttering and just gave up. I love you. They won't deny you the one thing you truly want. Good luck. Diana's parents are gonna be hot about this shit, and then they'll be okay about it. It's not your future. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Holy. If I had a son, things would be different. But when Diana wear that hat, <laughs> she kind of looks like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. To marry well, deceitful child. Wow. How could you? Uh, yep, that's about what I expected. <laughs> your future is not yours; it's ours. How does that make any sense? <laughs> oh, Jesus, dude. Why is it? You will be finished, and then you can negotiate with your husband for whatever you damn well want. Dude, evil. I thought like they were cool. I know. <laughs> like, I thought they'd. Learned. Had like a bit of a redemption. Jerry, we should talk about room and board for you at Green Gables. What? What? We need more help now that Anne is gone. It's Jerry moving dead. in. I'm just going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's graduated, moved on to a career. We need to talk about the future. You stay <laughs> on. I, I don't know what to say. You're replacing. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, what are you doing right now? Oh my god, man. Come on. That was just all random. The last episode of Sweet Sweet Bash. See this here? It's telling me we'll be ready to harvest in a few days' time. You're doing so well, Sebastian. I'm proud of you, son. Means a lot to him. I feel like it's like the first compliment yeah. she's given him. It's something we can conclude that Bash is probably going to be happy with his daughter and his mom. Dear Anne. What if her note gets lost? We are part of you as a fond object of my affection and my desire. What? You and you alone are the keeper of the key to my... What? Somehow she's not going to find it. But I can't in good conscience not reveal... It's just all up in their house right now. <laughs> I'm not engaged. Like, if either of them don't find each other's notes, I will be sick to the stomach. Me too. Me as well. I'm already feeling a bit nauseous. And always will be Mad if he would as well. With love. Gilbert. P.S. I mean, it's in a good spot. Good luck. How could this possibly get lost? The pen's weighing it down. Do you need any help with the milkers? No. <laughs> Just 
There's only one now. Sold pride to the Andrews. Sold her? Won't need as much milk when you're gone. Oh, Matt's upset about it, I think. Prejudice is still here. Or maybe he's preparing her for the real world. Dude, their cows were named Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> oh, come on. It's right there, Ann. Is it? She sees it. She sees it. Come on. Thank God. Let's go. She's going to see it now. So she only sees the shopping list side of it. <laughs> You've got to be fucking kidding me, dude. This can't be real. She's going to be like, I got to piece it together now. This Come can't on, be man. fucking real. Oh, Jesus. He's going to create the wrong message. Turns out Gilbert doesn't love me after all. And he wrote me a letter with my own. Oh. <sighs> Oh man, Diana. I mean, her parents are demons. Demons. Do you have a fever, Diana? Answer me. I don't matter. I can't Aww. Gilbert and Anne both didn't find each other's notes, and mm. I meant like didn't read them. Yeah. And they're not gonna um. It's just gonna end, and they're not gonna know what happened, like what they feel. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're growing up, and gotta She's go going to college. To college at the age of fourteen. I think she's sixteen now. Yeah, she's definitely not fourteen. What? Ash? Yo, Ash. yo, yo, yo. <gasps> Elijah. Oh, dude, I was wondering if he was ever gonna come back. Yeah, me too. Oh, the medal. Gilbert's dad's medal. Nice. Shame and regret I feel. Apologize for the pain. How did Gilbert? <laughs> Gilbert. How did Gilbert see him? He was looking the opposite direction and just stood up and ran. I think ba you're talking about Bash? Yeah. I'd like to be a part of Delphine's life. Huh. Elijah, I thank you for returning my father's medal. But I'm going to ask you to take your leave. You had your chance. You had everything. I don't blame them for being mad, bro. Hey, visit Mary before I go. Bro. You can at least let him do that. Dude, Bash ran up on him like he was ready yeah. to fight. Well, he probably he was. They fought before. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Bash got killed. Ugh. I'm sorry. Well, here's a good wrap up. That is so sad. What an incredible day. I'm excited about Queens. <laughs> I should be. They're literally the same person. <laughs> Old Anne and Little Anne. Anything? Oh. Oh my, oh my. What is she expecting? Heard from Mrs. Thomas. The one who had Anne first. Disappointing. Oh. She said she may have some things from the Shirley house, but she wasn't certain and was random. Oh, that's sweet. She's doing it. I don't, does Anne even know about this? I don't think. They're like a stone. <laughs> I hope you're pondering your insensitivity to our child. My what now? <laughs> I advise you to smarten up and explain yourself. Oh, no. No, Matt. No, no. Oh, my no. God. Dude, don't do this no. to me. Don't do this to me, bro. I want her to step into the shoes of her own life. You <laughs> Don't laugh at him, bro. <laughs> he's a sweet angel, man. And he's allowed to cry, too. I know. He wants to work, I think. What is he holding? A la some kind of tool, I think. It looked like a ladder, but I don't think that's what it is. It is. Oh, it totally is. 
Oh, to get the high, the <laughs> apples high up in the tree. He just said F off yesterday, and he just walked here, and he goes, all right. You got a ladder? <laughs> you can work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that they're forgiving him. Looks like something Miss Stacy would wear. Yeah. And, and looks like an adult. Or she's dressed like an adult, at least. Who's Snow Queen? That's like back from season one. I remember she used to talk about the Snow Queen or whatever. I think it's one of the stories. Gary. <laughs> no, they can't end their relationship Dude, sour. No, Matt's gonna do some like kind gesture or something like that. <laughs> and he's gonna look at her and be like, she's gonna be like, why did you do this? And he's gonna be like, it's a practical decision. Uh -huh. Oh my god, look at all of them. No, Diana. Oh my god, that, I recognize that lady. This is Blackmore. Oh, I recognize her too. She is, um, the wife and stepbrothers. Will Ferrell's mom. No, not even close. I can't believe how they all look. No, Diana. I hope she just shows up and, cause, and Marilla changed Miss Barry's mind. We'll have such fun here. <laughs> Now, without further ado, won't you please come back? They're all in their colors. Their themed colors. Looks like uh, Diana got replaced. Yeah. Josie Pie stole Diana's signature blue. Suitors may only be seen in the parlor on Saturdays between 2 and 4. <laughs> Just so specific. <laughs> Suitors? <laughs> Suitors? And just sad Diana's not there. Desire for Anne. Scotland. Is it? It's just a letter back from the people that know about the Shirleys. No, it's about. It's from Scotland, which is where Anne said oh, she's from. Maybe it's from an actual Shirley. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let's go. <laughs> that was a crazy yes. Honestly, this like the Bash storyline has been one of my favorites this season. Yeah. your stepsister bro half half sister bro you need to get to know your sister and help raise her with love like your mama raised you <laughs> such a cute baby i do not want to be at that position of fiddlesticks when will you come to your senses we're going tomorrow Marilla had to get one more fiddle sticks in before the show was over. Fiddle sticks. Can this be the right house? Whoa. More like a castle. Cole. <laughs> I'm glad we get to see Cole one more time. <laughs> oh, oh, we must be mistaken. What are they doing here, bro? Who? The Cuthberts. They have the letter. I know. It's just like. It's just so funny to me that they're doing this. Matthew, hasn't it been an age since we last met? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say anything. Since you've gone to so much trouble for us, I didn't want to come empty handed. What have we here? Ooh. Plum puffs. They're my plum puffs. Famous plum puffs. Mm. It's college. Just stop the steps. College. Looks like something Miss Stacy would wear. Marilla made that? Yeah. Wow. Way better than the first dress she made for her. Yeah. I can't wait to open the letter. Matthew doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Bro. <laughs> Leave him alone, bro. Let's open it together. Mm. Oh boy, here we go. The Kirk doesn't have any further information. No extended family, and after my parents immigrated to Canada, there was no communication. So, that's that. Well, Anne, are you upset? Well, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> that really what it said. We're incredibly graceful about the letter. Yet I know you well enough to know. <laughs> Just putting on a brave face. That's definitely some development. I feel like before she would not have been able to control her emotions like that. 
I'm very pleased. Now. Come on, Matt. Have your moment. Yeah, this uh, is for you. Here you go, Rob. This is the money from the sale of Pride. Oh, he's... Oh. So that you can visit Green Gables whenever you want. But only if it's uh, convenient. I was afraid to <clears throat> show you my feelings. Because I didn't want to hold you back. I know I hurt yours. I'm sorry. I'll miss you. Every day. Oh, Matt, you sweetheart. And I'll miss you, Matthew Cuthbert. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Thomas is just a fairy ride away. Uh, Mrs. Thomas is the lady she met with before that might have some things mm -hmm. from the Shirley's. That'll, they're going to find something. Good day. If I know you, you'd better tell me who. <laughs> <laughs> they were Scottish. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were. She used to sit in the front of this case and talk to herself. For <laughs> Telling stories. She had an imaginary friend, that's right. You know, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Look at that clock or whatever, right? Oh no. Why don't are we gonna find like a photo album? That'd be cool. What does that say? Do they have photos? Ah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> For my Bertha, so you can share your love of the natural world with your pupils. Love always. Walter. That's her parents, right? Bertha and Walter? I have no clue what Oh, that that's means, huge. Yeah. Winnie. Oh, wait. Winnie. Oh, this is how she's going to know that Gilbert likes her. But I don't think Gilbert said her name specifically. No. Must be on your way to Paris. I see he's told you. Well, not in so many words, but most of us know. I uh, it. He, he promised. Oh, it's not going to get out. Then have you? Because if you don't mind. Hello? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't understand. I'm quiet. My hat off to you. This is quite the misunderstanding here. I'll go. I didn't mean to interfere. I was just passing by. I hope you and Gilbert have a wonderful life together. Wait. <laughs> Wait a second. You don't know. Gilbert didn't tell you anything? Well, he left me a letter and I ripped it up into a million pieces. Congratulations on your impending nuptials, dear boy. You must be embroiled in a flurry of wedding plans. Hmm? He hates life right now. I apologize I wasn't permitted to tell you earlier, but I can now say that I'm not engaged, so I won't be moving to Paris. Does this mean you're going to Queens after all? Actually, I'll be attending the University of Toronto. Yes. Oh, does she know now? Yeah. Diana's about to spill the tea. <laughs> Had I had the opportunity to, I would have. In fact, I, I You've went had on. every opportunity for years. Admit it. You've been smitten with Anne ever since she first came to <laughs> Go off, Diana. Recording a mystery debutante. Who you had the temerity to step out with at the county fair with no word of warning. Then you show up at the ruins after exams and demand to know how Anne feels. She's torching him right now. And worst of all, you callously ignored the letter Anne wrote to you, even though she told you she loved you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's your business to say, Diana. Come on. They need to find each other. Not in the alley. <laughs> I Weird. checked the alley. She wasn't there. <laughs> she's going to run out the door and he's going to be like, ah. Oh. Here we go. Same place? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Suitors can only come... Between two and four on Saturdays. No oh, way. No, uh, way. no way. No one interrupt this. Whoa! <laughs> Yo! Oh, my God. I did not think that was going to happen. I just had to check. See if she's dreaming? So, I just had to be sure. 
you. Oh. Perhaps no. Do you truly have feelings for me? <laughs> for me? Just little old me? <laughs> Wow, W. They finally did it. I have to go. But, but you just got here. Where are you going? Toronto. U of T. <laughs> pen pals. <laughs> Likely you'll recall I happen to have very nice fountain pens. <laughs> I have to run. You like that banter? I just like his face when he does those things. Oh, Mr. Barry's dropping her off at school. Let's go. Gilbert, you bought your cases. Now hurry. You can take this carriage. Thank you so much. <laughs> what happened to Mr. Dude, Barry? Dude, he just did a 180. He said he was evil, and now he's like the coolest guy ever. Mr. Barry's gonna be mad. Yeah. Oh, look at him going. Yeah, oh, round three. Whoa. Right in front of Diana. I'll right here. Look at Diana. She's in shock. Cuthbert's. Hello. Cuthbert's. Very fitting. What if her mom's Aunt Stacy? I mean, it's a nonsense theory there. Aww. Her handwriting looks like mine. Anne's first picnic. Oh, oh wow. That's what she looked like. Yeah, that's her. It says Bertha at the top. She looks like Mona Lisa. Wow. Walter wrote it. Walter wrote that picture. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me my wish. Dude, that's so cool. You are a wish come true. I never knew I was making. I don't, tree, uh, I don't know, guys. This feels like a pretty good wrap up to me. I feel like everything. Except <laughs> they literally didn't address Coquette yeah. at, at all in this episode. Besides Coquette. Not one lick. I look like <laughs> my mother. Well, that is officially a wrap on Anne with an E. Right off the bat, like you just said, Bryce, I, I do think that the, the overall Anne of like Anne of Green Gables and with an E storyline wrapped up pretty nicely I think um just like her whole relationship with Gilbert her relationship with Matthew and Marilla I feel like it it kind of came to a con somewhat of a conclusion I definitely see where it could have continued but I'm happy with what we got um I also have to say that I'm really really happy that Elijah came back and was able to like make amends and apologize to bash because i had honestly kind of given up on his character i thought that he was just not in the show anymore and uh it's just cool to me that he he really has changed and wants to be like a part of his sister's life and like regrets what he did and obviously misses his mom so uh i'm really happy with how both of those storylines ended i mean everything wrapped up perfectly yeah but you guys know me i'm a big coquette lover and we didn't even get an ounce of her in this finale um that's a huge bummer that makes me extremely sad uh i feel like other than that though everything like i don't see anything being unfinished it just feels like actually everything wrapped up yeah. that could have been the finale of the show other than just this random uh, shenanigans. Yeah. yeah, they bring in Coquette as a character and then just like, all right, I don't think we're going to continue that and just <laughs> didn't. And I just thought that was so interesting. So it just leaves you to think Coquette is stuck in prison forever and it's terrible and I hate that. Yeah, I, th I wanted to say like, this is obviously all fiction, but and like you guys have told us that residential schools were a real thing and that did happen to kids and parents lost their kids and i think they killed some of the parents and stuff like a lot of people were killed were murdered from from this so it's like a is even it's sad that kikwet didn't get a, a happy ending but it's like maybe realistic which is really shitty to to see 
her because she was such a sweet girl like not get reunited with her family but i know it was very uh common i think for a lot of the indigenous people back then so very sad about that but i agree i think that if they touched on her storyline a little bit more here at the end it would have been just like a perfect ending it would have wrapped the show up completely um it kind of maybe would have been weird next season if they're all at queens and they're like all right we're back in, in college girls green gables with the coquette storyline because yeah. we're all in different places now um so i'm i'm cool with how the the show ended I, I think it's good we finally obviously got ann and gilbert to have their moment they kissed it's been three seasons waiting for it and it finally happened all the con- misconception and confu- like this whole episode was just like bad communicate like miscommunication it was just horrible and they finally threw at what diana <laughs> she like told gilbert mm-hmm. and and i guess winifred as well too told ann so i guess uh mr barry just had a freaking coming to light or whatever happened because he completely turned into the nicest guy ever there at the end overall though now that we've finished the whole show uh i definitely am pleasantly surprised with how much i liked it i i i gotta be honest i had probably the lowest expectations out of all of us going into it i really did not think we'd enjoy the show too much but i really ended up liking it a lot the characters really won me over i i will say though i think i preferred the first two seasons to the third one just because the third one felt like they were trying out a bunch of different things and it felt a little all over the place but um i still really liked how it ended i was um a big fan of the first two seasons and like sort of the beginning of season three but um there's good parts of season three but there's also weird parts of season three it was a it was definitely an adventure definitely like nothing we ever watched it felt like i was reading a book like didn't really feel like a tv show to me it's based off a book right Mm -hmm. yeah it didn't feel like a movie didn't feel like a tv show it felt like i was just felt like i was just watching myself read a book like it was very strange how i felt when i watched this show i didn't really have any emotions but happiness and giggling i just love to giggle at this show (laughs) yeah i also too was pleasantly surprised with this show i think we were all a bit skeptical going into it just based off the trailer and stuff just seeing if we would be able to get into it just because probably not our demographic that watches it mainly so yeah but it was uh it was definitely a a good watch i'm glad we watched it i really liked a lot of the characters i think just matthew marilla and were just some standouts there there's definitely great side characters as well a lot of her friends were hilarious Mm -hmm. but yeah it's kind of it's kind of sad it's always sad i feel like when you watch a show and then it gets canceled so i can understand why a lot of people were upset that it didn't get a season four and I'm guessing probably won't. I know people are still like yeah. rooting for it, but we want season four. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully we get season four. We'll definitely be watching it if so. But but yeah, thank you guys regardless for all the support and everything you've shown on this series. All right, guys, that's pretty much it though for Anne with an E. If you guys did enjoy all of our reactions to the show, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our links in the description. We got our Patreon, Discord, our second channel, A Talk, our social medias, and the address to our PO box down there. But yeah, we'll catch you guys next time in our next live action show. Peace out.